Despite its physical splendor and charismatic wildlife, Yellowstone can be frustrating for visitors interested in exploring its famous volcanic features. Geysers, hot springs and mudflows are plentiful and easy to find, and all are fascinating. But what about the big picture of the giant caldera, the massive lava flows and the two massive resurgent domes? To the untrained eye, these iconic features can be hard to grasp. This is partly because they are too big to see. A quick geology history lesson will help us understand where to look. Nature abhors a vacuum is a common saying and it applies to calderas, including Yellowstone. The Yellowstone caldera formed 631,000 years ago when a massive volume of rhyolite magma, about 1,000 cubic kilometers, or 240 cubic miles, erupted explosively from a reservoir 5 to 10 kilometers below the surface. The rapid removal of such a large volume caused the reservoir roof to collapse, and subsequent landslides into the abyss created the caldera we see today 50 kilometers wide by 70 kilometers long. That distance is hard to fathom for the human eye and mind. But Yellowstone's magmatic system was not finished. Soon after the caldera collapsed, magma began to refill the partially drained reservoir. The increasing pressure lifted the caldera floor by hundreds of meters at two locations that were the focus of the caldera forming eruption. The resulting bulge on the eastern side of the caldera became the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome and its sibling on the western side became the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. Both features are elliptical in shape and more than 10 kilometers wide by 20 kilometers long, with gently sloping sides. Resurgent domes differ from lava domes in that they form primarily by the extrusion of viscous lava onto the surface, whereas resurgent domes form primarily by the uplift and deformation of the surface itself, driven by the accumulation of magma underground. The Sour Creek Dome rose as high as the adjacent caldera rim before uplift there ceased. Its surface, like the Mallard Lake Dome, is cut by numerous faults that formed in response to intense upward motion. Early post-caldera uplift may have also occurred at the Mallard Lake Dome site, although evidence of this is buried beneath younger deposits. Unlike the Sour Creek Dome, however, the Mallard Lake Dome underwent another episode of uplift about 170,000 years ago. Near the beginning of the episode, Mallard Lake rhyolite flows erupted from vents above the dome, covering much of its surface and adding to its volume. So the resurgent Yellowstone domes are siblings, but not twins. One was formed entirely by structural uplift, the other by a combination of uplift and lava extrusion. Dome renewal in the western part of the caldera was followed by the extrusion of more than a dozen giant rhyolite flows in a series of clustered eruptions from 170,000 to 70,000 years ago. These flows covered nearly the entire caldera floor and filled it to capacity in many places. The two exceptions are the upper flanks of Mallard Lake and the high-rise Sour Creek resurgent domes. So it's hard to see the caldera and its resurgent domes for two reasons. They're so big that they're hard to spot among Yellowstone's smaller attractions, and they're mostly or partially buried beneath sizable lava flows. On a clear day, you can see the entire expanse of the caldera from accessible vantage points on its rim at Mount Washburn or Lake Butte.
Don't be discouraged by the lack of deep, steaming cauldrons. Remember, nature mostly fills in the gaps with lava flows. With the help of interpretive signs or a geologic map, you might be able to find one of these lava flows, the elephant backflow, around Lahardi's Rapids. You can see another one along Firehole Canyon Drive, where the interior of the flow has been exposed transversely by the erosional forces of the Firehole River. And if you're looking for resurgent domes, you can see the profile of the Mallard Lake Dome by looking west from the Delossi Creek Trailhead along the Grand Loop, about halfway between West Thumb and Old Faithful. The Sour Creek Dome is visible from several vantage points along the road between Canyon Village and Lake Village. Look east across the Yellowstone River to see a gentle profile on the horizon, reminiscent of the shape of the shield volcanoes of Hawaii.